Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DisparityPair.com. In this video we'll be talking about something that sounds complicated but in fact isn't. It is how to clean the throttle body on your car. We'll be talking about some of the main symptoms, what will you need and how to actually do the job. So stay tuned. DisparityPair.com before we start, one important safety tip, and that is uh, do this when the engine is cold. If it's hot, let it cool down a bit and then start with the procedure. For those of you who don't know what a throttle body is, it is essentially a valve that regulates the airflow into the air intake manifold. On it, there is an electric motor, which is activated by pressing the gas pedal. So when you press the gas pedal, the electric motor opens the butterfly valve here. Problems appear when filth and gunk form between the throttle body housing and the butterfly valve, causing the valve to get stuck. Some of the most common symptoms of a bad throttle body is rough idling poor response to the gas pedal so the acceleration is sort of sluggish and the engine may hold back or stall. In case of the Skoda Fabia on which we'll be showing this example you may get the EPC light in a combination with the check engine light. What you'll need for this job is a clean piece of cloth Either that or an old toothbrush, both of them are used for scraping the filth and uh, gunk off the throttle body. Uh, besides that you'll need a can of throttle body cleaner. Uh, if you don't have the exact spray where it says throttle body cleaner, you can use a carburetor cleaner like we're going to use in this example. Uh, if possible, by the exact spray, uh, they should be a bit less aggressive, but to tell you the truth, I've used both of them and both of them give good results uh, without causing any damage. The first thing you have to do is get to the throttle body. Now, uh, whatever car you drive, the best way to do this is to follow the air intake. So, find the air filter housing on your car, from the air filter housing follow uh, the intake tube and you'll get to the throttle body. In case of the Skoda it's a bit different, this uh, engine cover is a combination of an engine cover and an air filter housing. So in order to get to the throttle body we'll have to take it off completely. So we'll do it like this. Okay. Take it all off. Small tube here, I'll take it off, and the engine cover is off. And this is the throttle body right here. This is what we're going to clean. Now, once you reach the throttle body, use the spray and spray inside, like this. After that, you can use either the cloth or the toothbrush okay to clean the inside of the throttle body I like to use the cloth better and just rub the inside like this now this throttle body is pretty clean okay there may be more filth uh, in your case as you can see there is some filth here nevertheless so clean it and you can repeat the procedure a couple of times. Now, I would recommend not to flood the throttle body with the spray, rather use a few short bursts and then clean after that. Now, I must mention that some manufacturers say that you should just spray the throttle body and leave it until the uh, spray evaporates best read what the manufacturer recommends and do it in that way. I get the best results from spraying and cleaning with the cloth. Next, you're gonna have to clean the part under the butterfly valve here. Uh, this may prove to be a bit tricky since, as you probably know, the butterfly valve is connected through a mechanism to the electric motor here, so it may give us uh, some resistance. 
the best way to do this, and this all depends on what car you drive, is to turn on the ignition, not the engine, but the ignition, and ask someone to press the gas pedal, the valve will open to the maximum, and you can use the cloth and clean inside, or use the toothbrush, whatever, and clean inside. But like in case of the Skoda, the valve opens up only when the engine starts running, so the only way to do this is to press the valve a bit. You should be careful here, don't apply too much force so you don't damage it. So press on one side, like this, as wide as you can, and spray inside like this, and do it on the other side, like this. After that, use the cloth and clean as much as possible. As you can see, there is a substantial amount of filth in there. Go around like this. Just watch your fingers, okay? and repeat this procedure a couple of times. Again, don't use too much force so you don't break the throttle body. If you do, it will render it useless. Once you're finished and everything is nice and clean, best leave the engine bay open and don't return the air filter housing until the uh, residue of the spray evaporates. Now, once you're finished cleaning, it's time to return the air filter housing. In case of the Skoda, as mentioned, the engine cover is the air filter housing, so you must be careful that this gasket here uh, sits properly on the throttle body there, okay? So, let's put it in place, return this hose here, okay? And before pressing into place, Make sure it's on the throttle body, it is, and just press it into place like this, okay? What's very important on this part, regardless of the type of car you drive, is that you return properly into place all parts of the air intake you took off. This is because any uh, kind of loose clamp, damaged hose, or something like that may cause a check engine lamp to come up. Now it's time to start the engine. If everything is okay, it should idle nicely and work smoothly. When you press the accelerator pedal, the response should be better. For the end, remember that this kind of uh, throttle body cleaning is essentially a first aid measure. So if you see that uh, even after cleaning the uh, symptoms are the same, you'll probably have to take off the throttle body and give it a good and proper cleaning. So that's it for this time. I hope this video helps. I hope you'll be able to solve your problem. If you find the time, visit us at our website despairrepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.